Hi students, a very pleasant and warm greetings to you all. Hope you are doing good. So we are seeing the introduction of some important chapters, right? So uh, we have seen the introduction of a computer and you know what are the basic components of computer and uh, you have seen about operating system and we have seen the main thing what office automation tools also you know what is word processor and what is spreadsheet and what is presentation right so when you are learning this 11th portion you will be able to work with word processor or spreadsheet or a presentation also okay so here i'll just recall it once a word processor means it is used to create a text document right if it is a ms office package ms word that is microsoft word will be there uh, and if it is a spreadsheet means in ms office we'll have ms excel for presentation we'll have ms powerpoint right we'll say it as ppt and here in our portion we'll be learning about open office okay open office means it is a free package free package it will be available online we can download it from net and we can use it for free okay so here they have given the basic uh, office automation tool of open office okay in open office for word processor we'll have open office writer for uh, spreadsheet we'll have open office calci and for presentation we'll have open office impress you'll uh, study about all the tools and the working of this office automation tools in your uh, this 11th grade okay and i have given you the introduction about internet also you know what is internet right whatever you want you can search we'll have many browsers uh, either in you have used uh, chrome google chrome or mozilla firefox or uh, uc browser so many browsers are there if you are using a mi phone means mi browser will be there if you are using ios apple mobile means you will have uh, safari so likewise so many browsers are there anywhere you can search the things whichever you whatever you need right in google if you see what whatever may be your question google will have an answer right that is uh, internet and email email and about uh, um, social networking sites and all we have seen and how this email works how this website or web page is created about that also we saw we can create a web page using html okay html is nothing it is a programming language we'll just give instructions through html and it will be used to create a beautiful web page right so that will be the page which opens when you search something online in if you are going to google and searching um, some uh, courier service centers means you will have some options there if you are opening any one courier service for example i am saying professional couriers if you are selecting it will have a specific page for professional couriers inside that it will have space to log in or give the track id or um, to uh, input your details your mobile number for everything it will have separate separate columns and you will have a beautiful website there right so this website will contain web pages right so this uh, web pages can be designed with this html okay or uh, javascript any programming language this programming language means here we are giving the instruction to the computer and the computer is creating a page with our instruction okay that is the use of this programming language here you can uh, do any task by giving instruction the ta the instructions will be giving in many languages the basics of all languages this html it is hypertext markup language okay so here you will be learning the structural tags here in html in html means we'll have a opening tag and closing tag um, inside html we'll have head part and body part head part will contain the title tag and body part will contain all other tags and all other uh, text or image or whatever you have to include in the web page will be including inside the body part of html tag so this is the basic thing in learning a programming language once you are thorough with this html you will be learning about javascript that is the next version or that will be the upgraded version of html it will have some other uh, formats or it can do some other operations also so using this html you will be first creating a web page right 
using the javascript you can make the page more beautiful you can uh, make use of javascript and you can do some more operations than html and we'll be including the javascript inside html and we'll be creating a web page okay so we'll see about html the structural tags of html and uh, to format the text and to create table and uh, we can include list and links also and then we can add multimedia elements and the forms also we can add here using this html and then another one thing in html we'll have css that is cascading style sheet here for each style we can create one css file cascading style sheet if you want the font in um, a times new roman uh, font size of 14 and this color this uh, like this if you are having any style for font if you are want if you want to style a text you can just uh, design a style sheet and you can include the style sheet inside the html so that that particular page will be uh, cs will the uh, will be of the format which css has css will have some font formats font family font uh, color and all in that color in that font size and style the particular text will be displayed on the web page displayed on your browser right and then in javascript we saw about the control structures and functions in javascript i think you would have got a clear idea about functions and control structures these two are the major thing uh, which you have to know when you are before going to 12th grade okay so if you are having the basic knowledge of programming only you will be able to learn the php in 12th book you will have php you will be learning php coding language so if you are know, knowing this html basics and about this control structure functions and all only you will be able to do programs using php okay and uh, here you will be learning some computer ethics and about cyber security also and about tamil computing also you'll have it here here in cyber security or uh, this uh, computer ethics means ethics is nothing but moral right so when you are uh, studying in lower grade you will have a subject called moral science right so you will know a story you will learn a story there and from that story you will have a moral right so likewise here for computer for using a computer or to become a computer engineer or a software engineer you must have some ethics right so those ethics those guidelines of the ethics and uh, uh, the ethical issues if you are not following the moral principles uh, what will happen these things and all are given uh, for you in this uh, grade 11 so you'll be learning about that in detail when you are learning the grade 11 portions i'll just give you an introduction what is uh, ethics cyber ethics uh, uh, computer ethics and cyber security okay cyber cyber means what uh, if you are doing something online or if you are doing something in computer we'll say it as cyber okay so cyber security for what uh, you need cyber security to prevent any crime we'll need a cyber security right if you are uh, uh, the police is made to make you secure right so they will prevent the crimes likewise if it is done in computer or if it is done online here we'll say it as cyber okay so if any crime cyber crime is done to prevent the cyber crime within the computer or network uh, here we'll need cyber security okay if everyone follows the computer ethics no cyber crime will be there right so first you have to know the ethics here ethics means it will be a set of moral principles as i said to you before it will be a moral principles that govern the behavior of an individual in a society here ethics means you know it is a moral principle and uh, it is important to be in a society and uh, computer ethics means here this is also a set of moral uh, principles this will be used to, to regulate the use of computer by the users okay so the basic uh, guidelines of this ethics means first one is honesty next one is confidentiality next is a respect and the next is a responsibility here if you are doing a job you must be honest you must the uh, data must be confidential 
because here if you are becoming a computer engineer or a software designer even if you are becoming a cyber security person also you will be knowing some codings or if you are doing some um, cyber security purposes you will be able to get into another account and access their account but if it is for a security purpose it's okay but if it is done without the knowledge of the user it will be considered as a cyber crime everything is everything can be uh, noticed and everything will be monitored when you do something online okay it is a computerized thing and everything will be stored so whatever you do it can be seen when some other uh, hacker who is who can uh, operate computer other more than you they can just identify what you have done from the, the particular computer right so wherever you are they can find uh, if one person is working on cyber security and if any other uh, person is doing some crime in using this computer or network they can identify the ip address of the computer and even they can correctly they can identify what mistake they have done and from which pa- place they have from which part of the world they have they are using the particular computer and everything we can track right so this must to follow this guidelines of ethics first one is confidentiality honesty respect and responsibility responsibility means every user must take their ownership and responsibility for their action if you are a computer engineer and if you are doing something online or if you are doing something using the computers and network you must be responsible for that action okay if you are doing it for the good cause or bad cause you will be responsible for the whole action okay and the main drawback of this uh, ethical uh, problem or ethical issues is ethical issue means it is a problem or issue which will require a person or it may be a organization to choose the alternatives that must be it may be ethical or it may be unethical that is it may be right or wrong here uh, some of the ethical issues means it may be a, a cyber crime or it may be a software piracy or hacking or use of uh, computers uh, to do some illegal things or uh, uh, to do uh, it in the form of viruses or to make false claims using the computers these are all big issues here in uh, when you come to computer ethics okay so uh, com- computer crime or cyber crime means we know if you are trying to log into another one person's account or another one trying to log into a uh, uh, new person's id or unknown person's id or password if you are trying it is a cyber crime or if you are sending some link or if you are uh, doing some uh, unwanted email to a large number of users on internet means that also will come under cyber crime on and whatever crime we do using computer and network it will be cyber crime and software piracy means it is a privacy that means copying the software or copying the things which does not uh, which is not your own okay if someone else have been created the particular software and if you are taking it without their knowledge and if you are using it or if you are selling it and earning it will become software piracy issue and uh, uh, here inside this only this uh, um, duplicating and selling the copyrighted programs or downloading the software illegally through some network these and all will be coming and here we'll be learning about hacking cracking and uh, some types of cyber attacks here we'll have virus worms spyware ransomware and all about uh, this cyber uh, threats and about cyber security um, phishing farming cookies firewall and proxy servers encryption and decryption so to avoid this cyber crimes only the first is this encryption and decryption came okay encryption and decryption means it is the process of cryptography the process of encryption and decryption will be saying it as cryptography okay in the computer student means you must know what is encryption and decryption okay encryption means if you are sending a message when you are texting something in through whatsapp it will just uh, uh, if you are here in india and if you are texting to some other person in some other country it will reach them right how it is reaching it will just pass through some radiation so it will just uh, done through 
network right so in between so many points so, so many spots will be there right so there and all is the message which you are sending can be seen right for that security purpose what is uh, d- being done is encrypted and encryption and decryption is done when you see your whatsapp you can uh, uh, to see that it is end to end encrypted like that it will be given that means when you are sending a hi the particular letter will be coded it will be changed uh, to a code that means that h i will be changed to some other uh, unknown format it may include symbols letters or alphabets or uh, numbers anything it will be changed as a code that is encryption okay from user side when it is going first it will be encrypted and it will be transferred and again before reaching the uh, receiver it will again be decrypted decrypted means that code will be uh, converted to the normal text and it will reach as a text to the receiver right if the uh, if there is any issue they'll be using the uh, cyber security and they'll can convert this uh, encrypted or decrypted they will have a special team for doing this encryption and decryption so they can do it but legally it is no it, it should not be done okay if there is any issues they can do it and uh, anyone can watch the uh, messages or calls or they can track it but this encryption and decryption is done to make the data secure or the information which is sent from a transmitter and a receiver a receiver is receiving it to make the uh, channel secure this encryption and decryption is done okay and here you'll be learning the introduction to information technology act also and uh, here in uh, electronic data interchange that is edi about electronic communication and some laws which are there in your country and what is the way to prevent cyber security also uh, will be here in your 11th grade book when you are learning this chapter you will get a clear idea of it and about tamil computing we will see tomorrow thank you for your valuable time stay home stay safe take care bye